Hey guys, it's Captain Walnut. I'm here in a single player world, um, single player creative world on Feed the Beast, the Minecraft pack version 8.01. And I wanted to show you guys a cool little invention that I came up with. Um, this invention produces iron. And it doesn't centrifuge lava. Um, since they nerfed that, this is a different way to the produce iron from obsidian. So if you stick four obsidian dust into an industrial electrolyzer and darn it, it stole my obsidian so I can't hit the recipe button. There's another one. All right, so I can hit the recipe button and let's see, here we go. Um, you can see that four obsidian dust produces two tiny piles of magnesium, two tiny piles of iron, a silicon and a compressed air. So all these, this other stuff are, is byproducts, but my iron um, is really what I want. So silicon is actually kind of useful, so I, I just decided I'd save it instead of just getting rid of it. So if I go ahead and hit the recipe button on that, we can look at it. Um, so I could have just extracted it and gotten rid of it. But what's really nice is that you can actually turn two of them into silicon plates. Uh, so silicon plates are useful for, you know, replacing copper for advanced circuits. So you no longer need copper or, uh, or rubber to build advanced circuits as well as making basic solar panels. So this entire thing runs off of buildcraft energy. Um, you basically need a really good source of buildcraft energy to power this device. <coughs> right here. <coughs> this is actually would be just temporary for this demonstration. We've got a bunch of electrical engines down there converting the electricity into buildcraft energy. But normally in like a, the, on the AFB server, I would be running this from a boiler um, or two boilers rather. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this. So um, part of the operation is that electrolyzer getting obsidian. So I get the obsidian from here, from this igneous extruder. Um, and since I need four obsidian dust, I actually have four uh, magma crucibles producing lava, since the limiting reactant is lava in this case. Um, so I have four of these magma crucibles, two on one side, two on the other producing lava, which then gets turned into obsidian. Also, it needs a little bit of water, so I've got an aqueous accumulator up top there with two source blocks on each side, magically floating in the air using some red power micro blocks. <laughs> and then uh, from there, the obsidian from the igneous extruder goes into the pulverizer here. Um, you'll never actually see anything in here because it immediately gets sucked out on both sides or, or pushed out on both sides. So the pulverizer then feeds down into the industrial electrolyzer producing all the ingredients um, and it's just about to spit out so we'll see it all there we go it all spits out and I have all the items get color coded to go to a specific place by the um, what are these things called the sorting machine so I have magnesium go to blue I have iron go to yellow compressed air go to green and silicon go to red um, and that thing's just powered by this solar panel this blue tricity solar panel and this blue electric bat box and the solar panel panel produces way more blue electric power than I'd ever need, um, but I just need some sort of electric, electric source there. So uh, yeah, so yellow is the iron, so let's look at that. So it comes into this yellow pipe here, goes down into this little chest, as soon as there's four pieces of tiny iron available there, and we'll look as soon as there's four, one, two, three, four, they get pulled out by this auto crafting table to produce iron dust, and then the iron dust goes over here into my chest. Um, and this, I just have an Artarchic gate doing that, checking if there's space in the chest. And if so, go ahead and suck the items out of the auto crafting table. Um, and then I just have same thing with the magnesium over there. And then for the compressed air, it just goes down into an extractor to get rid of it. Um, with two overclockers, the cell would come out the back, go down the bottom, and get fed back up into the electrolyzer so I don't lose cells. Same thing with the silicon. The silicon, oh look, we're about to see it happen. Silicon goes down into the liquid transposer. You see it goes away, and the the liquid silicon comes out the back into a giant iron tank. Um, then it goes back down the bottom and back up into the industrial electrolyzer as well. Just have a little iron pipe down here to make sure they don't accidentally go back and forth and interfere with each other. Um, here we go. You can see a cell coming down, the, the empty compressed air cells coming down and going back to the industrial electrolyzer. Um, so where do I get my industrial craft, the EUs from? Um, I convert build craft energy into, uh, 
IC2 energy using magma crucibles, which are fed by just cobble from igneous extruders, into a thermal generator. So the thermal generator just uses lava. Um, so I can just, it's a simple way to convert between build craft and industrial craft energy. And that's all there is pretty much to it. Um, so yeah. So that the entire point of this machine would be since they nerfed um, centrifuging lava to make iron and electrum and tin and copper and all that stuff, I'm slowly trying to figure out ways to replace all of those infinite resources supplies. And this is the replacement for infinite iron. It actually produces it at a fairly appreciable rate. Alright, well, uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Alright, bye-bye.